everybody who would have thunk it welcome to part two <laughs> of uh of an unprecedentedly long isaac run it's a new freaking day that's where we're at right now it's a new day um I'm getting myself set up here. I'm I'm ready. I'm prepared. <clears throat> Literally yesterday. Finished recording this. Immediately went on to check the wire. We'll take it. Just just to protect a life. That room would have killed us if we didn't do anything. Um After check the wire. Immediately started streaming. Then did Kate's stream, then it was like 9 p.m. And I said, you know what? I'm not starting a run where everything is on the line at 9 p.m. Pacific time. I'm old. I like to, I mean, I don't go to bed at 9. But I'm old enough that even though I don't go to bed at 9, I'm actually jealous of people that do. I'm no longer uh, like, wow, you go to bed at 9? What a loser! I'm like, wow, you go to bed at 9? Teach me. <laughs> anyway, this run has been... Uh, it's been incredible. I, Dude, after the room on the womb that bodied us, I have absolutely no problem using Krampus' head for that room right there. And I have... Oh, that hurts so bad. I have prepared myself mentally. If today is the day that the streak has to end, then today is the day the streak has to end. We've really given this one everything she's got, Captain. I think we saved this bomb just in case. A, a, the tinted rock at this point is too valuable to pass up. Now, it would be absolutely incredible to keep this eternal heart alive for long enough for the lover's card to be worth something? There's no doubt about that. There's no doubt about that. Just keep in mind that after all this is over. No! I hate you. Um, you know, we, we do have the chest. We have to peep this for a luck upgrade. Are you shimmering green? You're not. <laughs> um, we do have the chest. And the chest, you never know. The chest could provide us with some incredible bounties. It could also provide us with nothing of value at all. I would say that it's kind of like even money. I, n I don't believe in the power of a jinx, you know? I, I kind of, coming back after being slightly tilted, I don't believe in the power of a jinx. I don't believe that, like, because this run has been, well, I mean, it, it's not even a belief thing, it's just, you know the way it is you know there's no way that just because this run was a little stinky up to this point that it's guaranteed to stay stinky we might go down to the chest and find ourselves with polyphemus we might go down to the chest find ourselves with i mean not abaddon i guess but okay I know I said I wasn't tilted and then immediately said okay, which is like the universal oh, symbol of being tilted slightly, but alright, that's okay. We found a dead end there. I'm I'm being genuine with you when I say that I've come to terms with this. If we lose, we lose. It's gonna hurt a lot, but it is what it is. At least it's been... Well, actually, this is worse this way. What I was gonna say is at least it's been a slow descent as opposed to, like, a sudden collapse. But, you know, there's good and bad. A slow descent kind of hurts a little bit more, but at the same time, gives you a chance to psychologically prepare. Sack of Sacks has some real value. A sudden collapse is more like, you know, you're ripping off one heck of a Band-Aid. So I think, first off, I'm very happy to have Krampus's head here. I do want to fish for the secret room because a room full of demon hearts gives us so much. Like this room gives us so much. And then I think we actually should use our bombs to fish. 
for another spirit heart. I don't really want to fight the angel. That's fine. Um, so this, this gives us a real chance for sure to make it down to the next floor. So I think you just, I, you know, this is actually going a little bit better than I expected. I kind of expected to die in like, you know, a couple of minutes. But here we are looking relatively good. Thank God we kept fishing for the secret room. What we want to do with Krampus's head is wait until the angel fetuses spawn. Because those are kind of the most annoying. And, and to press the space bar and skip that phase is worth a lot for me. Now, we're not going to have a ton of damage against the Isaac here. This, this is par for the course right now. Um, but really, this is no longer a situation where I can look at this and go, you know what? We can afford to lose any HP at all. This is a situation, without a doubt, where every single spirit heart matters to a staggering degree. Um, and I think that's something that it would have benefited me to think about earlier in this run. Because I did throw some away. Not, like, wantonly. I love wanton as a word. But not wantonly, but rather just, you know... In the mid-game, it's very hard to remind yourself that, hey, the HP you have now might be the HP that keeps you alive later. Um, but it's the honest-to-goodness truth in a lot of situations. Okay, we've made it through. <laughs> Down to the chest with three lives, and we are just begging for at least one amazing item. Yikes. Okay. Okay, okay. So I would say we didn't really get it, but I am gonna take three dollar bill. It's super risky, but we're living in a super risky life. So if we already believe the odds of us winning are somewhat low, not not insanely low, but somewhat low, then we owe it to ourselves to try. There's no way you don't do this immediately, but I think you just Start by walking, and I was gonna say, if the rooms are easy, I would rather try to get a... Oh my god. I actually don't believe it. First off, we were seven minutes away from finishing the run, apparently. How could I have possibly known that? But thirdly, I came into this run expecting... ...to tell you that the streak was ending, and instead, we got our 54th win in a row. For now, thanks for watching. Hope you guys have enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. I apologize for the two-parter. I hope it never happens again. And I'll see you next time. See ya!